Hey girls and guys, welcome back. This room is called Simple CTF. Start your machine, start your attack box. If you're using a attack box, deploy your machine. How many services are running under port 1000? So we'll have to start off with the nmap scan. Gonna nmap SC, SV, T4 for speed and V for bobos. And my IP address 10.10.221.106. I put a file named first scan. You can already see via the verbose output that we've got three ports displaying, but we'll wait for it to complete. Let's have a look how many ports are open. We've got open SSH on quad 2, web server is on port 80, FTP open on port 21, and it's got anonymous login allowed. It's always Good to check it out. FTP, IP address, type in anonymous, hit enter, and we're in. For ls, pub directory. cd into pub, for ls, can I cat this out? Let's try. No. So let me use mget to get this. Yes. Bye. Or exit out. And if I ls, I should see this. There's formich.txt. Now I should be able to cat to view this file. So let's cat formich. Damn it, man, you're the worst dev I've seen. Cracked it in seconds. Gosh, what a mess. Okay, nothing spectacular. Let's check for directories that are hidden with GoBuster. I'm gonna type GoBuster directory u http my IP address hyphen w then user share word lists derb and common dot txt and it's found quite a few i'm going to open up full screen open up firefox just minimizing and moving this over so i can see the directories and let's tack them on and see what we can view standard apache web page first one dot hta it's forbidden dot ht access it's also forbidden dot ht password also forbidden let's do index dot html again the apache 2 default web page robots dot txt Let's just have a read through. Server status forbidden. And the last one is simple. And it looks like we've got a web page. Let's open this up. I can see here we've got a CMS mode version. And CMS is used quite frequently with websites. Just for good measure, viewing the page source, checking the green text for any helpful hints or tips left if any everything seems to look normal don't see any hints or tips in the comments let's go to exploit database and check if there's any exploits or vulnerabilities against this version of cms exploit database open up the website in search i'm gonna say cms 2.2 on page 2 seems to be what we're looking for it's got the greater than sign and for the versions 2.2.10 and below so i'm going to click on the first one sql injection we get a cve of 2019-9053 and it says it's a sql injection and yes this covers the versions of our cms okay to get this i'm just going to do the easy way I click on download it's going to download this to my machine i'm going to say save and okay now if i ls i should see this python file there it is 4635.py okay let's see if we can use this and run it against python i think i need to install some requests for python so i'm going to do python to hyphen m pip install requests and let's install term color let me put python 2 in the front python 2 our pi file hyphen u the ip address and we're using the simple directory and you can see that it's running against this so it's found our password salt as well as our password so let's use hashcat to try and crack this so i'm going to use hashcat hyphen capital o hyphen a zero hyphen m the number 10 and then let's copy the password we found and paste this and then we're going to put a colon and then we're going to put in the salt which is the top one here that's found use our word lists user share word lists and let's use the rockyou.txt 
txt hit enter and let that run you can see it's finished but it hasn't given us the password it says the status is exhausted so it's the salt the md5 salt so it just means that our salt and password need to be flipped the order in which i've got it but there's an easier way to do this just change the 10 to a 20 which basically means you're flipping the password and salt around so i'll change that to 20 let it run if i open up another terminal just type hash cat help just so i can show you the hash modes this is the hash modes sha ones md5s and here's the, when i used the 10 i had the password and then the salt and then now to flip it for the salt first and then the password there you can see i changed the mode to 20 and hashcats cracked it and the password is secret so we now have the username mitch as well as a password secret so let's try and ssh into mitch at the ip address of our machine 221.106 oh, that's not gonna work my bad let's control c to stop that we need to specify the port number because ssh was running on quad 2 if you remember from the nmap scan so i tack that on to the end type yes and enter the password secret and we're logged in if i ls oh there's a user.txt and if i cat user.txt good job keep up this must be our first flag let's check this out yes it is okay so we've covered a couple of these answers already what's the user flag there you got it Let me just show you, here's the SQL injection, which is SQLI, and there's your CVE number for your answer, 2019-9053. So there's the CVE, SQLI, the password, we cracked it, that's secret. Where can you log in with SSH, which we did, and then we found the user flag. Is there any other user on the home directory? What's its name? So the home directory. Let's go back to terminal. I'm just going to ls forward slash home and it says Mitch and Sunbath so I'm presuming Sunbath is the other user and that is the answer what can you leverage to spawn a privilege shell let's see if I type in sudo l permissions to show me what I'm allowed to run as sudo it says we can use user bin vim let's go to gtfo bins website as always I'm gonna type in vim in the search bar and then i'm going to click on sudo and you can see if the binary is allowed to run as super user it doesn't drop the elevated privileges and may be used to access the file system escalate or maintain privilege access copy the first one and let's go and paste it in directly into the terminal hit enter oh it's gone a bit weird let me type who am i oh, it's overlapping let me just hit enter a few times and see what happens and do who am I again uh, we are root so we've privileged escalated ourselves and it's ls is the user we're obviously going to want the root flag so let's ls the root directory and there's the root.txt so you can just say cat and follow the path root root.txt so you're catting out the root.txt in the root directory and there's your final flag thanks for watching